You are now tuned in to another episode of Spraying with the Little Boy Sprayer. <laughs> What's up, you guys? Yeah, uh, it's been a day, hasn't it? Yeah. I uh, I was in my A yesterday, you guys. We got some rain yesterday after, I don't know, about nine o'clock or so. And man, let me tell you, I went on to the house and I went to sleep and I was in the bed all day. <laughs> I was in the bed all day, you guys. I needed that rest. Man, I needed that rest. So I'm well rested now. I think we got maybe about half an inch of rain. Not much, not enough to stop me from spraying. So I'm headed to the back of this field. Wow, look how raunchy it is out here, you guys. On these peanut ends, yikes. Anyway, I'm headed to the back of this peanut field where there's some soybeans planted to try and get them sprayed. And of course, this field, I planted with the drill, so yeah, I'm gonna have to use the lovely GPS that I love so, so much. <laughs> but I'm trying to tell you, boy, we need to do some mowing out here. Great, hey, look at them sickle pies, all them other weeds out there. Yep, so in this field here, it's normally wet, so we didn't put peanuts here. So I'm gonna uh, attempt to get these sprayed, you guys. I got my line made with the GPS, and I just got to find where to turn in at. Guess it'll be about right here. Yep, let's go. You guys, there's a lot of sickle pies out there in that peanut field. A lot of them. I'm looking out here and it looks like there was a deer out here this morning. It was running across the field probably when I started spraying trying to get out of here. I can see a lot of the leaves disturbed. All right, you guys, so that's gonna do it for this field. There's a place right there where I told you it looked like a deer was out here. They definitely been out here because there's a bunch of places that's fresh. We have arrived at another field and let me see. Man, I might, I might should have went in on the other end. You know what? Yeah, because I can't straddle these peanut rolls with the tires in on narrow. So let me, let me go around, let me go around. Yeah, that little patch there, you guys, those jokers are tall too, man. I got to get out and see how though. Well, I don't know, it might be wet. Them beans probably still wet from the dew this morning. But man, them jokers are so tall. You guys, I just hit a trench in here. Man, oh, wow, that thing. That was ridiculous. Oh, that was just so ridiculous. I didn't know it was in there. I had no idea it was in there. But anyway, man, look at these beans right quick. I don't want to get out way out there in the field, but let me see. Let me see where these things come to right quick. Man, I'm trying to tell you, these beans, <laughs> that is crazy. That's about, if I pull that leaf up, it's, it's almost at my neck, you guys. That thing is almost at my neck. Wow, 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 wow. <laughs> oh, I think this field right here takes the record for the, the height of beans, for real, man. What? And I think it might be a little bit soft out here. Like I said, this right here is a place where it's normally wetter at, so that half an inch of rain might have got it a little bit soft out here. All right, and that's gonna do it for that section. I'll probably try to... put one oh oh man I put one tire in the peanut row and that way I won't be in the beans but man I'm telling you these beans are outdoing themselves this year <laughs> and I gotta hit these end rows I didn't hit these end rows I said I'd do it on the way out that way I wasn't doing double tracking 
and that will finish this field. It's funny because I didn't even know where the driveway was. It was so grilled up right here. I went by it the first time. <laughs> All right, you guys. Oh, raggedy road. So this is the road, you guys, that I was side cutting on where there's a bunch of trash up and down it. Y'all see that I finally have posted that video because that was like way back from the winter months when I was side cutting. But I did finally post that video and uh, there's still quite a bit of trash out here. Not quite as much as when I was mowing, but I can tell that there's been some traffic in and out of here this morning already because there's tire prints in the mud. I don't know if they're cutting trees back here again or what. I can imagine when we get to this field, it's not going to look nearly as good as where we've been already because this field had struggled. I know it was struggling the last time we were in it. Yeah, they don't look nearly as tall, but look at this. Look at this here. Look at this. Look at the trash. Look at the trash. Lord have mercy. That don't make no sense. But anyway, I can look out across there and tell that these beans definitely are not as tall. Uh, whoop! Power line, along with some trees. Uh, we made it on the other side of it now. I was, uh, well, I'm doing the ends and they look a whole lot better than what they did look the last time I saw them so they, they've come along a good bit but this too is a, a, a rather wet field and I've seen quite a few places where I can tell that there's been some water standing on the beans because they look yellow just like over there at Beaver Dam field where that water was standing on those beans at so there is a difference and we're not going around that side of the light pole Got that suspania, them are water weeds over there. And see how they wore out on this end? That's cause the deer and turkey did that. The deer and turkey got them wore out on this end. Now these beans haven't grown enough to where they're hiding where Dan sprayed last. I know y'all can probably see that track there. I think I'm gonna try and follow his track because he followed the track of the planter passes. So I might, I might just avoid this GPS um, for right now anyway. I had actually lined it up when I made that first pass over there, but I'm gonna I'm see if I can continue to see his tracks. They're pretty tall right here, you guys. Yeah. The closer to the woods we get, the more deer stress or deer regulation that we encounter. Look how tall they are back here versus where we just came from. And I, I have not been using the GPS. I can still see uh, the tracks where Dan sprayed. It's even yellower back here. But as we get closer to the road, where I'm sure there's a lot of traffic in and out of there, whether it be hunters or loggers, I guess it kept the deer ran off and they are taller. All right, you guys, so we got that field knocked out. Uh, we're heading to some fields that Dan planted with the planter. And I know I was saying planter earlier, I meant the drill. This field was planted with the drill. I planted this field. And of course, whenever I plant it with the drill, it's gonna look worse out there wherever we track that. But a lot of it will still stand back up. And like I said, I was able to follow where Dan, I might've sprayed this field actually, where Dan sprayed um, before, cause he sprayed that hot sauce on them. I don't know if I sprayed this field or not. But anyway, um, talking about how you have to run over the beans. There was somebody asked a question about just leaving the, the worms on the uh, on the soybeans versus running them over. Well, during this period of the beans growth, 
while they, they're putting on pods and the pods are trying to fill out, the soybean plant can only tolerate between 30 and 35% of the leaf being eaten before it really gets into destroying the crop. So the worms can do way more damage out there than how much we're running over. So it's way more important to get them sprayed, especially if it's a, a type of worm that will actually eat on the soybean pod that the, the bean comes in. So it's more important to, to run over a few beans and get it sprayed than to leave them old worms out there. There's a bunch of different kind of uh, worms that eat. Some of them eat the leaves and some of them eat on the pods. Let's get out of here away from that trash. Lord have mercy. <laughs> and there's a log truck coming, so let me back up. I'm gonna let him come on through. I guess now we gotta sit and look at this trash until he goes by. So it looks like we have a hubcap. Looks like a helmet, microwave box, some oil. All right, how you doing? Uh, what else we got out there? We got a shelf. Got some soda bottles. Looks like a calculator. Anybody needs a calculator? Some orange peels. <laughs> Let me go ahead. <laughs> so I guess they are cutting some trees back there. I'm not surprised. Ah, so it looks like they're doing some logging up here, you guys. How you doing? And of course, there wouldn't be a car coming right here while there's a sign here. Come on. Oh, they got a, a, um, a John Deere loader thingy. I don't know the proper name of it. I'm sure some of you guys know it. Look like they're getting unloaded. Wow, man, just slinging that thing, ain't he? Look, oh, we got a John Deere grappler thingy too all right all right oh they love john deere <laughs> all right you guys be riding through slap swamp and it is dry out there i don't know maybe about two or three weeks ago when we got all that rain there was some water out there in that part of it but like the only water that's out there now is in the main creek I mean, there's like usually always water out there. So, I mean, it's it's still rather, rather dry, you guys. I won't say dry, but the water level in a lot of the places is not where it normally is during the year. And it was this bridge up here where I saw that alligator at. Let's see if it's out there. It's not enough. The water ain't low enough. He was on the side of the bank when I came through last time because the water was so low. Man, it looks like it might be some rain down that way. It might shut me down. Ah, oh, we're arriving to bean land, you guys. Got beans on the left and beans on the right. <laughs> and there are some sprinkles of rain on the windshield. I'm looking across the field there, you guys, and I I believe it's raining over there. It might not be hit. Oh, yeah. Yep. Yep. It's coming. Look at the hood there. You see the specs on the hood? I was about to say I need to text Dan and ask him what he got on the radar, but forget what he got on the radar. I'm in it right now. It's starting to rain. It might just be a sun shower. Well, you guys. We have been waiting for the on and off showers that's been on and off, on and off for almost an hour now. <laughs> um, even Dan, where he's at, is, you hear the thunder? You hear the thunder? Like I was saying, where he's at, it's on and off showers there too. And so the wind actually has died down, so I may have got up. But anyway, I guess I'm gonna head on to the shop we just got to see what the rest of the day unfolds but i am going to wrap this video on up right here you guys yes indeed yep try to make it short <laughs> but look at this spot here 
that's a clay spot right there and that dirt is it's tight it's packed right there so it them beans didn't do too good there i guess they struggled to come up and so the weeds are trying to overtake them but anyway these beans out here they're looking pretty good as well you guys nice and tall and uh, of course these beans were planted with their planter so there's actually a decent amount of space in between the rows but i'm looking out there and <laughs> those beans are meeting pretty good almost where you can't see the rows but anyway i'm wrapping this video on up like i said man i hope you guys enjoyed watching on today um i'm just gonna end it like this jesus christ is lord to the glory of god the father you guys stay blessed you guys keep encouraged and as always we'll see you in the next one